Hey guys, welcome back. This is going to be part 7 of my InMove robot hand arm project. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, welcome back. Glad you could join me today. This is going to be an update on my 3D printed uh, InMove arm project. Some things have changed, a lot of things have changed. I'll give you a quick run through, hopefully I'll keep this video short, and hopefully it helps someone someday. So what I did is I've got all the tendons strung. Uh, I had some problems with the 100 pound test spectra line. I, uh, I could not get decent knots to hold. Uh, in frustration, I ended up finding a way to tension the servo horns and just lay the line across and hit it with uh, CA glue. This has worked fine, but it leaves uh, no room for adjustment whatsoever. So any, uh, well, I shouldn't say that. I've gotten creative and found that I can twist up the, the tendons and hit them with another zap of, of glue and do tension that way. So it's gonna work for a while. Uh, I will be tearing this down, so I'm not too concerned about it. Um, I'm going to change these horns to a different style and probably move to the rotation wrist. But this is where we sit. This is in the at rest position. Um, I'll show you the back side with the covers in place. Uh, looks pretty good. Uh, you can see with it at rest, uh, I've got a little bit of hyperextension on this finger. I'm going to have to put a stopper on that. but. Uh, yeah, works pretty good. And uh, I'm not sure what I went over in the previous videos, but uh, when you're assembling these, you just do a knot under the tip and then you glue the tip over top. And uh, pretty straightforward beyond that, I had to put my thumb servo here and found out that you can't align them the same as the others. You need to stagger it, otherwise the angularity here is too tight and you'll begin tensioning the opposite side before you get to full deflection. Minor fix, that's actually why I had to redo the lines, why I had so much trouble. But uh, yeah, this is uh, pretty much it. I don't have the top covers in place right now. The, these will go over top and cover things up. Pretty hard to do one-handed, but you get the idea. Those cover all the electronics up, and what we have is a fully at-home 3D printed robot hand arm that is fully functional. Uh, pretty excited about this. Gael has offered some help on the um, on the Google group that supports the InMove robot. Uh, he's been super helpful. I did tear my hair out a lot getting these set correctly. Uh, these are not the servos that are recommended for this, so I had some trouble with the uh, with the degrees. Just had to set it down to 90 degrees in the Arduino sketch, uh, sometimes a little less, just to avoid uh, hyper extending, well not even hyper extending, full extension, and then you can end up with the servo under tension at that time. I've decided to tune mine back a bit so that I stop before I get to full extension. That way I don't burn out the servos. So, so far so good, pretty straightforward. Next video, hopefully I can show you this thing moving. Uh, for anybody new to the channel, uh, thanks for joining. I see uh, a lot of new subscribers lately and a lot of new views. I think Google Plus has really helped. So I'm glad you could join me today. Uh, I urge you to go ahead and build one of these and uh, thanks for joining.